Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to remove a harness and a leash from a photo. Um, so the photo is already edited and then I go in and remove everything. So what I usually do is edit in Lightroom and then I open it up in Photoshop. Um, if a client doesn't use a simple leash and harness, it can be a little bit more complicated. Um, this is my, my girl Pepper, and so I usually try to keep her on something that's easy to Photoshop out. Um, I know my dogs, and I know if they were off leash, they would be gone. So basically what I do is I take this spot removal tool, or sorry, spot healing brush tool. I always call it the wrong thing. Um, and then you just kind of go over where you want it to go, but sometimes it just looks terrible. So you can do it as many times as you want, and it'll still look bad. So then you can take the clone tool, and I usually just take some pieces of fur that'll look natural, and then I'll fix it from there. So you go over, and then, you know, you go back to the spot removal. But so, like I said, sometimes it takes a couple tries, and it might not look natural, so then you can try from a different from different spots and different angles. Um, the biggest problem I always have is my dogs are really, really fluffy, all three of them. And so when they wear their harnesses and their leashes, they get a dent in their fur from it. So even if you do Photoshop it out, it still can kind of look unnatural. So that's when you try to pull from different parts of the body. Also, you don't want to copy from the same thing that's right there because then people will tell, oh, hey, they just took, you know, from this spot and they covered it. The leash is a little bit easier. Um, like I said, I just switch in between. A lot of people think that you get these images perfect and that dogs are, that you work with are super well behaved, but they, <laughs> my dogs are not. I do have a lot of client dogs that are really well behaved and can be off leash, but my dogs would be gone. They they would run away and I would never see them again. <laughs> so this spot down here is a little a little tricky. I'm trying to get this leg just right without making it look too messed up. Because you still the goal is to make everything look natural. You don't want them to look like they have, you know, an extra leg or they're missing part of their anatomy or they're missing toes. So I just go back and forth. Like I said, my dog's are really fluffy so sometimes it can be a pain. Um, I have found that using these long black leads, however, they are pretty helpful. They do work a little bit better. Um, the thin black leads are a little bit easier to Photoshop out. Um, I say that as I'm struggling to do it. And then the foot back here looks a little, a little messed up, so I might take, you know, a piece from here copy it and then transform it and you might be able to make it look like another little foot it's kinda of blurred in the back so it doesn't have to look like anything crazy just want it to look a little bit better than it looks right now but it might not work and I might end up scrapping it anyway so it's just all about trial and error, honestly. Leash removals can be, there we go, can be very stressful. And they can be a pain in the butt. But they do make clients happy. The photos do end up looking better, I think, without all the leashes and everything in the way. Now you don't, like I said, you don't want to copy anything too close because then it'll, people will definitely be able to tell what you did. They'll know it's a lie.
the lens I use here it kind of blurred everything that wasn't directly in focus so you can have some trouble there trying to make what needs to be clear clear and what needs to be blurred blurred if that makes sense so that looks terrible so we'll try one more time if not we're going to go back to the clone tool so we'll go back to the clone tool there we go So now we have Pepper. Not, now she's, she's a little naked. You want to adjust it so that way it makes her fur pattern make sense. And luckily she's pretty much one color on her chest. My other one has a white patch on her chest so using trying to Photoshop her harness out is the worst. So I try to clip her lead to her collar because she's one that won't typically run away. But she does good on her collar as well as she does on her harness. So once you have it to where it looks natural in the way that you like it, I'm going to leave her collar. But I do want to get rid of the distracting metal tag. Easy peasy. All right, and then I'm going to save it, and it'll save it since I pulled it from Lightroom. It'll save. So that's what we have after we edited it, and that's what we started with. So her chest could probably use some more work, but this was just a quick tutorial just to show you. And then the next tutorial I'm going to put up is going to be a composite. I had to take the photo of each dog separately and combine them to make one. I rarely, rarely do composites, but my dogs are the worst and will not sit together very well because they get too excited and they just want to play and then they start wrestling. So like and subscribe to my channel and you'll be alerted when the composite video comes up and any more tutorials that I come out with. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this helps.